Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, Dr. Adil, who is second year resident at Bharti Vidya Peet Dental College, will demonstrate us for the inferior alveolar nerve block. So the area anesthetized with the help of inferior alveolar nerve block are mandibular teeth to the midline, body of the mandible inferior portion of the ramus, buccal mucoperiosteum, mucous membrane anterior to the mandibular first molar because of the action of mental nerve and anterior two third of the tongue and floor of the oral cavity because of the lingual nerve and lingual soft tissues and periosteum because of lingual nerve as you can see in this picture the yellow colored portion is the area anesthetized because of inferior alveolar nerve block now the landmarks which you should keep in mind before giving the INB are the coronoid notch which is the greatest concavity on the anterior border of the ramus and the pterygomandibular raphe which is your vertical portion and the occlusal plane of the mandibular posterior teeth. Now observe the patient and operator position guys. It is 8 o'clock position because he is going to extract for 8. Okay, so first you have to palpate the retromolar fossa, then you have to retract the cheek and observe your injection site. Place the index finger of the same hand externally over the ramus of the mandible. Okay, then visualize the pterygomandibular triangle, one horizontal and one vertical line as shown in the picture. Then insert the needle from the opposite side and aspirate. Okay. It should be a negative aspiration then you have to deposit 1 to 1 1.5 ml of injection and your needle should have hit the bone. After that you will move slightly your hand and you will give or you will deposit another 0.5 ml and this will anesthetize your lingual nerve. And yes it's done. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any other video request, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing for more amazing videos.